Shabbat Shalom, everyone. So this is where we do our sermon. Uh, tonight, because it's Shabbat Shirah, we have our sermon and song. And if we think about it for a second the fact that Shabbat Shirah, where we read from the Torah, we celebrate the moment of, of redemption, where we cross the Sea of Reeds from slavery in Egypt into freedom. Um, I wanted to provide another Passover point of reference right? Because that's, that's the Passover story that, that we're talking about. Um, so I thought that I would begin our sermon and song by asking the question, what makes this Shabbat Shirah different from all other Shabbat she wrote? Um, Shabbatot Shirah probably is the correct way to do that. Yes, I could be a rabbi. Um, what makes this Shabbat Shirah different from all other Shabbat Shiraz? And, and I think it's pretty obvious given the fact that I am talking to you from my basement on a screen. Uh, when uh, Cantor Michaels and I were talking about what the plan should be for this Shabbat Shira musically, um, we settled on this on this kind of cool concept, which was: could we include as much music that has come out of the last year as possible? Because there's so so much hurt and frustration and anger and despair um, and just really bad stuff that's come out of out of the last year. And I. Uh, well, we said there, there are some silver linings. There are some, there are some really beautiful things that we've been able to create as well. And so you've heard um, and seen some videos and, uh, of melodies and songs that we've been able to write this year, trying to bring some comfort and healing and, and even joy um, from our pain. Uh, something that sits really prevalent for me for this year is, is kind of the heat of the summer. 2020 and our our struggle and uh, striving for justice and equality um, for all for all people no matter the color of their skin no matter what God they pray to no matter who they love um, and so this summer in in the midst of it all I wrote this song because that's how I um, handle stress and bad feelings I'm just like okay I'll just write a song and it will all be better so, kind of, sometimes. Um, and so I wrote this song, and I was thinking in particular of this verse from Amos, one of our prophets. And it's a verse you're probably familiar with that says, let justice well up like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. That it, it, it should have this like torrential force, that, that justice should be unstoppable. An interesting thing happens when you go to write a song with a text that you think you know. You look at all the pieces that are around it, and you realize you didn't know exactly as much as you thought you did. And in, in researching for this song, I realized something that I think we all kind of feel, but needs to be acknowledged. I have, a, I have almost chapter five on my phone here because it's 2021 and that's what we do. We got Torah, Torah on the tablet. Um, but almost 524 is let justice well up like waters. Almost 523, the verse immediately before and a couple before that, God is kind of talking about, don't, don't give me offerings, don't burn offerings, meal offerings, I don't need anything of that. And then, and then God says, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, and let me not hear the melody of thy psalteries. But let justice well up like waters, and righteousness like a mighty stream. And if that language is kind of confusing for you, this is how I think about that line. You know when you get really frustrated when problems happen again and again and again and again, and we hear sending thoughts and prayers, and then it happens again and again, and people send thoughts and prayers, and then it happens again and again, and no action is taken, and you feel a little frustrated because thoughts and prayers are, are really wonderful and helpful, and they need to be supported with action. Turns out that's not a new feeling. That's from the Tanakh. That's God saying enough with thoughts and prayers. Turn your thoughts and prayers into actions. Let justice well up like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Don't just speak platitudes. I hope I use that right. Don't just speak lofty goals and send love. Do love, be love in the world. And I took that as inspiration to kind of write the rest of this song, which is called Well Up Like Waters. And over the last week and a half, the um, 
musical clergy team that is currently assembled on this service had the opportunity to re-record um, for just this occasion. And we made a video that we wanted to share with you this evening as our sermon in song. So Shabbat Shalom, everybody. And this is Well Up Like Waters. Teach me how to flow like a river. Teach me how to flow like a river. To face what's in my way and keep on moving just the same. Teach me how to flow like a river. Teach me how to stand like a mountain. How to stand like a mountain, defiant, strong, and proud before what tries to tear me down. Teach me how to stand like a mountain. Let justice well up like waters, and righteousness like a mighty. With the blood of no more sons and daughters. And when the black waters teach me how to hear when I listen. Teach me how to hear when I listen. Do not avert my eyes when I hear a people cry. Teach me how to hear when I listen. Teach me not to yield like an iron. Teach me not to yield like an iron. See these wrongs addressed to not accept anything less. Teach me not to yield like an iron. Let justice swell up like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. May the land decide she's satisfied with the blood of no Bye. 